Welcome everyone, I'm your host Risen and you're tuning into the No Randos podcast. Remember that we could get interrupted at any time from trolls, so please bear that in mind. Um, as always, this is a brand new platform and we're trying to hit 50 subscribers, so please consider liking and subscribing. Uh, without further ado, I'm joined today by our humble and honorable guest, Viper. Welcome to the pod. Oh, Viper. thank you. Hopefully you don't get shot in the face when you sit down. I hope not. <laughs> uh, we also have uh, Mono on security detail in the helicopter. Mono, if you want to do a flyby, you can. Alright. Do a flyby. Hey, how's it going? Let's uh, grab a seat. Oh, and the green one. Get a little... Uh, oh, the green one? Okay. Yeah, yeah, the green one. A little... Oh, damn. You know, I want you to... I want you to... <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Crazy. In the rain, okay. too. All right, so let's get uh, let's get this started. I'm kind of uh, pumped. Um, obviously, you know I have a bit of uh, curiosity and the whole uh, RP scene and things like that. We'll start off with the uh, main question. Where did you get uh, the name specifically? My name came from Old Gen, actually. It was um, an old friend of mine gave it to me. Okay. What game were you playing uh, during those uh, during those times on 360? Was it GTA Five still? Yeah, it was GTA 5 and also Red Dead. Okay, okay, okay. Awesome. Yeah, a lot of um, a lot of a lot of gamers play both sides and uh, of uh, the Rockstar world. Um, they do mesh pretty uh, pretty well, and uh, your skills kind of poured onto RDR from GTA. If you started playing uh, GTA earlier, um, did you feel yeah. that way? Did your skills and your logic toward like how the game works? Did you feel like they poured it over? I definitely do, yeah. Mm. I feel like it was just, honestly, um, a little bit different controls, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same. Yeah, just in different times and different mechanics, but it's, 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 th there are similarities. The engine is the same, uh, both running on Rage, I don't know, Rage 7 and 9 or whatever, and, uh, and obviously there's no helicopters or, you know, um, jets flying around, but you know the game kind of runs <laughs> similarly. Um, yeah. How long did you play uh, RDR for? What level are you? Um, I'm not too high level because I have to keep restarting my character. So. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what got you into gaming, anyways? Uh, definitely watching my older siblings play their Sega Genesis growing up. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And uh, what was your first uh, console? My first console was a Nintendo 64. Oh my god. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not sure if that ages me at all, but yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, uh, it's definitely a classic. Uh, for people who don't know what an N64 is, um, I think it came out around 1996. Uh, a lot of memes were... Uh, were created from uh, N64 uh, content too. Uh, do you remember the uh, N64 kid when uh, he got it for Christmas and then he starts screaming, starts screaming, it's a Nintendo 64! Oh my God! <laughs> do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. <laughs> it's classic. That's one of the first like, videos um, that I've seen about gaming. It was pretty funny. Um, what pulled you into GTA first off? Well, um, honestly, I just, I think it's like a really good way to relieve stress, to wow. be honest, because like, you can live out scenarios that you would otherwise be able to live out in real life, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. and you can die and you can break, break uh, laws without uh, permanent repercussions and things like that. Um, exactly. Well, how, how, long, how long have you been playing GTA for, approximately? Oh gosh, since its release. Like, I used to play a lot more, I guess. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't really have too much time now, but, yeah. Yeah, I get I that. Still get on mm -hmm. when I can. What, what, what year was your, like, your peak year? Like, what year was GTA popping off uh, the most uh, for you? Where you, play, where you uh, clocked in the most hours? Probably 2019. Like, when the pandemic hit. Wow, yeah. I've had a couple of people uh, tell me 2019 was 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 like peak gta times uh, i think yanks was talking about the uh, pilot scene was definitely peaking i guess like all games um popped off during the uh covid uh beginning yeah yeah exactly like when you're met with like not a lot of options you know you're not allowed to go into public all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. it's just a really good way to you know kick back and relax 
Yeah, yeah, I completely agree. If you don't mind me asking, if, what were you doing during the you know, coronavirus? What kind of like funneled you into that path? Well, uh, I was working at an old folks home and I was um, like a lot of the residents were were dying essentially. Wow. So it was getting kind of depressing, you know, so I got I got an Xbox and I got really into GTA just kind of blossom from there okay okay and uh <laughs> that's a that's a pretty uh pretty ironic way to blow off steam so um we could say that death in your physical world was kind of getting you down and then you turn to a game i mean that's ultimately ultimately about killing people and you know breaking you know breaking laws and things like that but that's how you blow off steam is is to kind of uh, you know um bring in that element in some sort of like recreational and fun way and obviously you know when people die in gta and stuff like that it's not permanent it's all virtual stuff but don't you find it's kind of ironic how it kind of how it worked out and you literally blow off steam by being around virtual death <laughs> yeah it is pretty ironic to be mm -hmm. honest I, um on like i do owe gta um a lot just because it sort of pulled me out of that that mindset of like just being, you know, um, where everything was really dark mm -hmm. and it was a really bad time for everyone. You know, people's parents were dying. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. What, um, what keeps you, I mean, obviously you mentioned, um, blowing off steam, but besides that, um, what keeps you playing GTA today? Um, just my friends mostly. Like mm -hmm. I have a huge, uh, huge friend group on GTA mm -hmm. and yeah like they're always like oh hey do you want to play and you know they're usually I don't know we all have good and bad days right so I try to cheer them up when they're not feeling so great yeah 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 well that's even how I met Bane through uh through you and uh some stuff was going down and uh you know I'm linked up with them a couple of times we ended up being uh decent friends shout out to Bane who are you more like in GTA? Uh, Michelin, Franklin, Manklin. Did I just say Manklin? <laughs> yes. Yo, what the? F <laughs> okay, I'm gonna re I'm gonna ask it again then. Um, who are you more like, Mike, Franklin, or Trevor? Definitely Trevor, hands down. Legit. <laughs> just my my quirky personality. Yeah, and do you um, like what other aspects of? Uh, about Trevor do you replicate are you um are you aggressive do you do you do you get angry quickly I wouldn't really say anger I would say more like the way he's fearless you know like he's not afraid of a challenge okay that's deep that's definitely deep mm -hmm. and uh what's your favorite part about the uh GTA storyline hard uh, question just just how um a tough one mm -hmm. I'll give you a second. for me yeah I think it's like just how the story goes you know what I mean like it's just so there's so many different aspects to it mm -hmm. and I really like that about any kind of story yeah three uh, three characters tied together in like a universe exactly who did you end up killing at the end um, I ended up killing Michael damn yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's legit, though. I guess, you... yeah. I guess just because, like, I didn't really care about him, mm -hmm. you know, in the storyline. He he was kind of uh, depressing with the um, midlife crisis. Um, yeah, you know, and it kind of bring the story down. I find so. A little bit, but it, maybe they were trying to um, appeal to older audiences at the same time. You know, trying to. Yes. It's like. Uh, kind of like a marketing strategy someone someone relatable to you know someone who's you know 40 or 50 or 60 years old or something but it's uh yeah i mean the stories uh, anything anything that comes out of any story that comes out of rockstar is generally uh you know a solid one so it's it came out pretty good overall wow. yeah definitely let, let me segue into um the animal situation um do you have any uh animals or pets uh amongst uh amongst you that uh affects your gaming life no actually i live in a place where um we're not a lot of pets so 
Okay, okay. Do you want a pet, or do you plan on getting a pet in the future? Um, I mean, I pretty much have little wild rabbits that are all around the house, so... That's all there is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you weren't so into games, what would you be doing instead? I would probably be reading or making video edits of a different game. Hmm, interesting. But if you weren't into gaming at all, at all, okay? If you weren't into games, okay. what would you be doing if they were absent in your life instead? What kind of person would you be if if uh, gaming wasn't part of your life? Uh, boring. Just kidding. <laughs> um, I would probably be working with animals. Like, I think that is one of my passions. Um, I've always wanted to be a veterinarian, so. Wow. Eventually, cool. yeah. Eventually, that's, I want to start doing that. Mm -hmm. What is your favorite uh, animal that you would uh, love to work? I mean, I, I shouldn't say work on, but like work with. Horses, hands down. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, they just have such a cool temperament. Like, and like, it's really cool. Like a lot of people don't know this, but um, their heartbeat actually syncs up to their riders. Wow, that's crazy. Like routers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yo, that's nuts. Um, I personally am getting into, I love forest critters, but I've gotten, um, super into wombats lately. Gorgeous animals. Okay. Wombats are so freaking cute. It's crazy. And, uh, <laughs> you're not allowed to have them as pets, which makes me really sad because they're, I think they're like endangered in Australia and they can only be in Australia. So, um, yeah, shout out to wombats. If, if I ever go to Australia, that's the first thing I'm going to see. Yes, wombats and capybaras. Yeah, definitely. For sure, and uh, koalas and stuff. It's crazy yeah. there. Yeah. Well, I've heard some bad things about koalas. Yeah. Like they look cute, but they're actually super vicious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wombats too, though. Like they they don't want to be picked up. They don't want to be fucked with. You know what I mean? So. Gotcha. You okay. Gotta, you even if they are cuddly and cute, you can't really uh, you know disturb them much. They're irritable. Yeah. It's like uh, they kind of remind me of like bears a bit. I don't know. <laughs> Little bears. What's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of GTA and you're getting on? Mm, the first thing that comes to mind is who's online. Like, are, is my little crew online, you know? Mm -hmm. And if they're not online, usually um, you can find me hanging out with uh, my friends from Mirror Park. Okay. So, yeah. Um, do you think that the game is uh, dead? Currently? No way. Okay, okay. No. No. Like, I'm always being confronted with lobbies of, like, 25 to 30 players. And, like, a lot of the time, I'm having to queue into lobbies and, like, wait in line to get in. So, yeah, I would say it's far from dead. Mm -hmm. I, like, I like asking this question because I get mixed reactions. Some people think it's dead. The more competitive types are, are uh, maybe more bored with it and then they consider it dead because you know a lot of the co you know competitive players don't play as much uh, lately but the RP uh, community is still going very strong um, and I think that says a lot about the types of gamers that uh, play the game um, competitive people have uh, lower attention spans I've noticed it's harder to keep them um, engaged and entertained whereas the more casual players are more you know, um, kind of go with the flow and they kind of wing things more, whereas competitive players usually push fights and they have an agenda usually. You know, I could be wrong about all this, but I mean, that's just kind of what I've seen um, in the past. So it's ironic uh, to see the answers from that question. Um, yeah, yeah, from my experience, I've noticed the same thing. Yeah, there's, it's almost like there's more long term. Um, entertainment from the RP side uh, and we're talking about like years you know what I mean I mean this game games in general shouldn't be designed for you know 10 years or 11 years or whatever it just goes to show you how important both aspects of, of the communities are you know yeah for sure but anyways um what's your favorite memory in GTA oh my that's an easy one so um, in one of my old crews, nice. we used the cargo bob to get pics at the top of a skyscraper. I believe it was the Maze Bank Tower. Classic. Mm-hmm. It was so fun. Like, it took us so many tries to get all of our 
<clears throat> vehicles up there, so. All, all your bikes? Uh, this was back in the MC days, right? Mm -hmm. So let me understand this. You had a cargo bob lift up every bike individually? Yeah. So it did take quite a while to, <laughs> to do. Um, How many people? To get the content. Oh. Uh, there was there was only six of us at that time. Okay, okay. Where's your favorite spot in GTA? Uh, the wooded areas, like the mountains. Mm hmm. Polito or um, Chiliad yeah, or. Definitely like Mount Chiliad and like between Mount Chiliad and like Polito, like those kind of areas. Sweet. We have a lot of memories up there. Um, also, I've dragged Mono and the boys uh, to Chiliad plenty of times, right, Mono? Yeah. Yeah, we've had uh, plenty of uh, occurrences up there. We usually do uh, rally runs and off-roading uh, stuff, but we do experiment with uh, ridiculous uh, vehicles as well. Yeah, when we it does. try and get stuff up the... Uh, we try and get vehicles that aren't really good up the hill. I'm like... Actually add. Like uh, terabytes, um, <laughs> mocks, tanks. The, the, the Kanjali gets up there pr surprisingly easily. That thing's a monster. Uh, sh yeah. oh, shout, out, shout out to the Kanjali being the best tank ever made in the world. Um, <laughs> but anyways, um, what about your favorite specific location? Like, not your area, but what's your, specific, what's your favorite specific location uh, in the game? Like a clubhouse or um, one of your places? Um, I would probably say uh, anywhere near the casino, like, because my penthouse is there, so I love inviting people over just to, like, have drinks and visit. Get wasted, puke exactly. out the Macbeth, the Irish, uh, <laughs> right. what's going on with that? Uh, so you, you, you call parties over, you, you call in a party uh, from the penthouse and then invite some of the boys over and then just chill and um, probably grab some content uh, while you're there. Some funny stuff. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I remember there was one video I posted, um, and I think I was with Mono, ironically enough, and uh, we passed out. Uh, we were we were taking that shot. We took we took a shot of that uh, the the danger shot, and I passed out. And my I forget what happened, but someone's. I think it was me. Oh no, it was Fox. Fox passed out, and his his head hit uh, Mono's crotch. It looked like he was blowing him. It was kind of funny. Yeah, good times. <laughs> the fuck? Yeah, you were... Oh my God. I posted it, Mono. You you never check your Instagram. It was giving me a blowjob. It was... Uh, no, because your pants were still on. That, But a, a virtual yeah. BJ would definitely be... It was be, pressing uh, my, my, my crotch then. Yeah. It was, uh, right. it was rather seductive when he fell unconscious and smacked his head mm. on your crotch. Um, yeah. <laughs> but Viper... Um, where do you see yourself hanging out um, when GTA 6 comes out? I'm assuming that you're getting the game, right? Yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, where, um, where are you going to be hanging out, do you think? Like, like picture a Miami, you know, um, setting and things like that. If you've ever played Vice City, it might have a little bit of similarity to that. But where, where do you think? Definitely the nightclubs. Sick. I love I love the party scene in GTA. Honestly, it's just so fun. It's gonna be lit, like the particularly the nightclubs and the lighting of all the all the stuff. There's gonna be there's not only gonna be one nightclub probably like in GTA where you can own it. There's probably gonna be a bunch of types of nightclubs. What's the what's that street? That famous street on in Miami? Uh, the Strip there. Um, okay, there it is. It's Ocean Drive. Nice. Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Ocean Drive? Have you ever heard of this uh, crazy mm -hmm. ass street? Um, I went to Florida with a couple of buddies and I went to Ocean Drive on a Monday night and it was stupid how busy it was. You, you, you probably can't even, I mean, obviously there's gonna be more, there's gonna be more people on a Saturday night, but I was thinking to myself, how could, it, how could it get more crazier than this right now? And Every car was a Ferrari, a Lambo. I mean, there's tons of millionaires out there. And uh, I, I really hope that GTA 6 can replicate that kind of culture uh, properly. They already killed it in Vice City, but, you know, ye have much faith, you know. Yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to GTA 6. Like, I really hope that they incorporate the 5M aspects, though. 
Yeah. Like, they, uh, do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, they bought the 5M team, the 5M developers. So Ooh, you guys I are going to be... Yeah, yeah, they, they bought the whole thing. So it won't be community developed. It's going to be... I'm sure there's going to be full-blown options for, you know, being in an MC or, uh, or any sort of crew or things like that. It's going to be more organized. Right on. I hope so. Yeah. Um, so what kind of player would you say... Uh, you are. Are you a casual player, a grinder, semi try hard, full try hard, like a hardcore sweat? I would say probably a semi try hard. Like, I'm obviously on like once a day. And, you know, mm -hmm. I'm not the best shooter, but I'm also not the worst either. You also have a lot of, um, you're very educated in like the MC scene. You have a reputation, obviously, that precedes you. Um, or, or doesn't precede you. I don't even know. I mean, apparently, um, you were talking about your reputation being a little tarnished. Yeah, just um, the old MC that I used to run with, they were kind of like a shoot first MC. Like, they didn't start out that way, but then they became a shoot first MC. Mm -hmm, very dark. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so we have uh, a lot of enemies out there. So um, it's almost like you join these crews or clubs and you know whether you're in or out you develop you know friendships with these people and you develop enemies with these with with uh certain people in the community and i guess uh it's harder to escape uh your past in this kind of uh scenario right it does get a bit annoying oh it does um, for sure yeah how do how does your history kind of catch up with you so you're being followed at times do you uh do you get jumped? Um, and if so, how often? Oh, yeah. Um, well, I mean, obviously, I'm not going to name names, but there mm -hmm. are a couple other MCs out there that yeah, they really want to catch us alone and, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, beat uh, us. I, I can name names, though. Uh, 33 MC, you guys are trashed. Um, I <laughs> orbed your entire upper management. Didn't even do it on purpose. You just are, You guys are just dumb and didn't think I'd come back to orb you, but... I do come from a competitive side of GTA, and I am petty, uh, as well as, you know, being nice and polite and cordial. Uh, I try to, you know, mix both in. Um, I'm only talking about this because Viper was involved with that kind of uh, stuff, and they followed her. I thought that was super cheesy that people still follow people, and I'm kind of against that. Um, so I took it upon myself to uh, orb the people that attacked us. Um, it was a bit difficult to follow the rules of uh, in being an MC because I guess my ego gets triggered. We can go into the um, uh, like defining the terms and things like that. Um, what is okay. what what does it mean to be part of the one percent? If that's correctly how you say it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So it means that you only use like one percent of your weapon wheel, right? And also. It means that we are the one percent of the community that doesn't use like RPGs, grenades, stuff like that. And you have to follow the rules, or yes. else people will report you to the Weasel News. That's exactly it. Yeah, and then a lot of the times, um, the clubs who are caught not following these one percent rules, they will be blacklisted. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, like they can't join the MC community lobbies, stuff like that. How do you prevent um, blacklisted crews and clubs to be uh, to join uh, like MC lobbies? Because MC lobbies are invital. Oh God, what's happening? Is there a rando? Oh no. Yeah, there's a rando. There he is. I don't know what he's doing. All right, hold up, hold up. I think he's, he's just he's. I think he's going nobody's around me. you. Okay. I'm always watching. Yes, I, I, think just, you're, you're I don't want okay. you to get shot in the head. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Sit down, please. All right. And we're back. Um, so we were talking about blacklisted crews. So these these biker lobbies uh, that, um, that go down, do you get invited to them? Uh, is it exclusive or do, are they in uh, public free aim uh, lobbies? No, you do need to be invited. So usually um, the MC community page up on Instagram, they will um, say who the host is for that day. And then you have to go and reach out to that president 
and get in with them. Mm, interesting. All the MCs work together to um, to kind of stimulate the community and host these events. Uh, I guess that's kind of cool. It's kind, it's 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 nice to see that kind of organization and dedication to uh, you know that uh, community. Who's fun? All right, sweet. Yeah, it is really cool. Because we were um, talking about making a sub branch uh, and starting this MC thing, and we were going to try to respect the one percent, but. It's a bit more complicated because we're, I guess you could say, open quotation, semi-competitive, and it's harder to make people follow those rules, especially, you know, someone like Mono, who's a aircraft main or uh, sniper mains and things like that. You're basically taking away their favorite uh, experience from the game. Maybe some of them would make exceptions, but we can, we can easily get blacklisted if we don't follow the rules and uh and then we'll never be uh respected members of the uh community i guess that's probably what i uh that's what i that's why i predict anyways and maybe you can too yeah definitely like even like if you go into um like a battle and you have body armor on like they frown upon that kind of stuff so. really okay yeah it's crazy like there's so many rules to it but I feel like the rules are emulating real life MCs. A great comparison I like to make is um, Airsoft and uh, like real war, I guess you could say. In Airsoft, they, they literally mimic the aesthetics and the way the guns look and the weight and stuff like that. So they're trying to replicate, the, sorry, they're trying to simulate, oh, we got a jet. Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know whether to shoot to simulate. No, I just wait, not. just no, wait, he's just chill. Yeah, he's cool. No, oh, what an... Yeah. Just crashed. I, I didn't want to shoot, so... That's what a, why I wasn't... What a gypsy. I was right behind him, and uh, I didn't know <laughs> whether to shoot or not. Nice. Did he hit the power lines? He, he hit the, yeah, he uh, hit the tower. Power line, yeah. 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 It's all right. Walk it off, brother. That's what GTA is for. You know what I mean? Womp yeah. womp. Just yeah. kidding. <laughs> um, so, like, I'm just trying to predict how fast we get, um, you know, barred from the MC community uh, if we did try to give this a good shot, but um, how long does it take for an MC to earn uh, respect and credibility in the community, you think? I think it depends on the MC. Like, if you're a shoot-first club, it's going to be a lot harder to make those kind of connections, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can easily burn your bridges pretty quickly uh, in these uh, RP communities. And um, I guess we could talk about how small the, um, I guess you could say the comm is, especially hanging out in free aim. Um, how many how many free aim lobbies are there in total, really? You know, it's easy to quit a game and come back and just fight the same people that you saw previously, you know. So it does catch up okay. to you. Would you say that's uh, correct? Oh, definitely. Yeah, like... You piss somebody off and then, you know, you go lobby hopping and you're bound to find them again, you know? Yeah, that's one of the, um, kind of like the different, th one of the different aspects of free aim compared to auto aim that I, I noticed. Um, but as, uh, how do you, how do you perceive the GTA comm as a whole in its, in its entirety? Honestly, there are good, there's good and bad to it just like with anything right like a lot of players are toxic you know they'll mm -hmm. spawn trap you and continuously kill you but there are those few that you know they make the community worth coming back to and that's what i play for okay okay cool that's uh that's legit that's a good answer um we we talk about gta etiquette a, a little bit forget about rules uh in the mc okay what is gta etiquette to, uh, to you and what is the like courteous thing uh to do um in free aim lobbies uh, when interacting with each other? Well, definitely, like, leave the low levels alone. Mm -hmm. You know, like, they're just starting out. Just give them a chance to live their lives. <laughs> That's very fair. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Um, honk say... to show that you're friendly, too. Yeah. And how. Sorry, Mono, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, things with lower levels, though. When you're fighting or something like that, they always like tend to like run you over and shit. Like, I've noticed that. <laughs> True. Or like yeah. kill you. <laughs> More likely to grieve. Annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Like I've, like level ones are uh, 
annoying for it. Well, you you could be like strafing left and right because you're having to snipe somebody, and then just to come over in a car and just ram you and like run you over. It's it's very annoying. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm surprised no one's attacked us uh, yet, uh, and it's at 19 people. It's starting to get full. Um, yeah, but, for sure. But it's uh, definitely a soft lobby. Definitely soft. We're getting some good info. Um, that's why uh, we're going to head out after and kind of uh, try to blend with people and uh, see what what's going to happen later. But we'll see. Stay tuned for that. How do you meet people uh, on the game in general, Viper? Um, usually, I'm... You, like you can find me at the LS car meet during the week, mm -hmm. you know, with my friends. So I've met a lot of people. Just um, hanging out in uh, at the LS car meet. Just yeah, just trading cars, you know, making conversation. Yeah, I'll yeah. come hop into the party and stuff. It's pretty cool. So okay, so you have a lot of cars and uh, bikes, I assume, right? Yeah, and then another really cool aspect is like a lot of people will track me down like through social media, mm -hmm. and so that's how we connect at first and. Yeah, mm -hmm. we end up gaming together. I mean, you you don't you don't hang out with like a bunch of people. You know, you are loyal to like, I would say what, f four or five people. The like your main yeah your main circle. Yeah, definitely. So like my besties are like Tito, my buddy Tito, and his friend Bushido. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and they are ex pagans. So they used to be with pagans MC. Oh. Okay, a pagan, mo um, a pagan motorcycle club. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah. Pagan is uh, like a religious, uh, religious side and things like that, right? Like, That's uh, right. Like hardcore Christians. I'll, I'll definitely look into oh, it. Oh, yeah. that looks like an interesting uh, situation behind us. What happened? Yep. Got some uh, combat. Yeah, he's dogfighting with two players right now. You know what? It's time for me to make a little appearance. Wait, who's the... Which B11 is who? <laughs> I have no names. Oh my God. I'm going to shoot once. I'm going to shoot... I, I got I to gotta, I gotta see who's who. Okay, he's right behind you. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Oh man. It's going to be tricky. I don't know who to... Okay, they're all there. I just want to hit one guy. Please. Okay, so far right. That's our boy. Okay. Oh god, I was gonna be. Oh my god. <laughs> Leave him alone, me, I say. Me, oh no! No! I don't know if this other guy's friendly or not. I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna stop shooting. My bad, my bad. This this has gone crazy, alright? I don't wanna shoot down the, the security. So I don't know whether to shoot him or not. Mm, I think they're just flying around for the most part. Well, I'll, I don't know. <laughs> it's hard to say. <laughs> if you want, you can repair. Uh, all, the... all right, I don't want. I don't. I don't want to cause uh, some trouble. This interview was going uh, pretty, pretty good uh, before I got a little crazy. I guess the uh, the devil got out of me. You know what I'm saying? Um, <laughs> I have a good question though. What common attribute do your friends have that makes you want to keep them around? So. <laughs> My friends don't hesitate to watch my back in a public, so I definitely love that. They would take a bullet for me any day. I would take a bullet for them, you know? Okay, yeah, loyalty. They say that, they, they say that if, you, if you stay with your friends for longer than three or four years, you're going to probably know them for the rest of your life or something like that. Something like for that. Sure. And even three, three, four years in the online uh, scene is actually a really long time considering how fast the world moves now right that's uh, true yeah what's your oldest uh gaming buddy my oldest gaming buddy is not, probably... not, not an age but like how like someone that you gamed the longest with yeah uh that would be my buddy dead wolf and we've been gaming together since 2018. wow that's crazy mm -hmm. so six yeah. years shout out yeah. to dead wolf yes okay okay cool hey dead <laughs> Shout out to Dead Wolf, and um, so he's like your go-to guy, um, and uh, loyalty sure. goes a long way. What about your nemesis? If you want to shout someone out that you don't like, um, you can kind of do that now if you want. Uh, my nemesis would probably be Battery MC's Viper. Okay, wow. With the same name <laughs> as you. 
<laughs> yep. And he came after me, so that's funny. I mean, he tried to claim that he's the original, but obviously yeah, it sucks. not. Oh. Am I gonna have to get a little crazy here? Uh oh. Who's in the Starling? Me. <laughs> he's just gonna run away forever, uh, so. You know what? No, he's not. He's coming back. Oh, watch out, he's turning. I hit him once. Man, that thing takes like. Oh, Mono's on his ass. He's flying, man. <laughs> ah! Ah! Man, I'm. That is about to left to me as well. Before you shoot, I find sometimes it's easier to take a breath out. And then as you're breathing out, shoot. I, yeah, yeah. Away. Yeah. I can also try being less I'm trash. Not that, not that, that that helps too. <laughs> From what I've seen, you're not trash. <laughs> I hit him like uh, once, but he's uh, these Raijus are fast. Oh, they are. They're annoying, that's what they are. Ah, oh, I almost got him there. Okay, anyways, anyways, I hit him on. I hit him on. Stay, stay focused, Mono. You're doing good. Hopefully, we don't get strafed by that. Oh God, he's right there. <laughs> All right, okay. let's just we let, die, we'll we just die. we'll just chill. Yeah. If we <laughs> die, we die. <laughs> we die like men. <laughs> sort of. Um. Right. What What other are? Wait, do I have stars? Oh, I did. Oh, dear, you do. do uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. No! No, leave us alone! Oh, no! <laughs> no! Why, hello, how you doing? Oh, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it! No! no. Oh, too late. No! Oh. Alright, nice. Oh, I got shot, I took a bullet for you. Oh, damn. <laughs> Thanks, Risen. It was forced. It was it's a like forced. A... It was a forced bullet. Okay. I was just running by. All right, I nice. I call it Lester. Hold on. No problem. I'm getting. Oh, there we go. Wow, nice. That works too. <laughs> Damn, slain. All right, yes. all right we'll oh, lose where did it spawn me? Okay, so I'm you know just what? Behind. It's just as soon as I, if I hit, if I kill anyone, they're gonna know it's me. They're gonna come back. <laughs> right. <laughs> So the fact that I'm trash actually kind of works out. Oh, look at this glorious. Oh, no. I'll have to call in a bike later. Oh, uh, it's true. Oh, really? Why do I have stars again? Because the gypsies are... Oh, no. Who is that? Who's that Mark II? I don't know. Oh, it's a... I'm going to get into Roger. <sighs> oh. He's so crazy. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Ow! Be gone, you witch! <laughs> no! I'm like trying yeah, to run back to you. <laughs> no one makes me bleed my own blood. Ah! <laughs> well, this took a turn. That's it. That is it. If I can just get my. No, leave me alone. Why are you attacking me specifically? Oh my god. He's going. He's he's literally like he's literally trying to kill me. All right. I got to turn on the old uh I got to turn on the old uh the old radar. I got to find out find out what's happening here. Mono, yeah. do you see this guy? I don't he see he it. must be off radar, radar. dude. Yes. Yeah, what a doucher, dude. We were so close. I mean, were we? Yeah, we were so close. We're gonna have to work on this kid. He's probably gonna go after you, uh, Viper, because mm -hmm. I'm. Uh... I've got to take out a jet at the moment. I'm oh, there he is. Deal with something. Is is it dark green that's coming after me? Is it dark green? Yeah. Who's this guy? He just came back in. Oh, yeah, he's he's coming in. Check. Mr. Whiffer. You, you little bitch! <laughs> Take him out, Reason. Come on, you got this. Oh, God! I uh. believe in you. 
It's my destiny. It's, it's just that I have E-rounds. Um, all right, I'm going to try to do it with E-rounds. Oh, um, did best. somebody drop their... Uh, I think somebody dropped their... Whatever they were moving. There's like two little green dots on the map right beside you, Risen. Maybe that's what he's trying to get to. No, he was literally trying to kill me. Mm. He, he must be trying to shoot me like... Uh, hang on a sec, I got an idea. I got a good idea. It's time to get a little dirty. Maybe he'll take off in his uh, Mark II, though. <laughs> if he does that, then I can get back in. Okay, sweet. Mr. Whiffer, what is your problem? Why do you stand still? Oh, he's getting a tank! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, poor tank. Poor tank, son. Call that tank back. Call that tank back, bro. You don't want to. You don't want to run that game. You don't want to run that He's game. He's probably dude. stuck on cooldown right now. No, nah, I didn't blow it up. There you go. Oh, okay. Mono, what's the situation with? Um... I don't know. There's just multiple jets going around. He, he's on game chat. I, I I think that's why he targeted me because he hears me talking on game chat. Yo, Mister <laughs> Whiffler, I'll, Whiffer, I'll I'll straight up one v one you tanks, dude. If you want your shit pushed in, I would love to do that. Send me a because I, I can't hear you, bro. If you want a one v one tanks, I'll stop uh, RC pushing you. Look, I'm right behind you. I'm right behind you. Get, or, or actually shoot. Shoot, shoot twice. Shoot. Oh, God damn it. I will literally know? stop the podcast to fucking fight you, bro. I'm, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to shoot a video. Shoot twice. Shoot twice. Shoot twice if you want a 1v1 uh, tanks. No? Okay, okay. Well, this is awkward. Uh, do you want to sit in on the podcast? We're just, like, trying to finish up here. That's why. You wanna you wanna sit? I can I can have you sit on the. Can can someone get okay. Mr. Whiffer in the in the party? Okay. Need to get comms on him. You hear me? The, I see him. Oh, no, that's oh, fake. Crap. Oh. No, I'm the one in the ride, Jimmy. I keep on getting. I have auto run. I can't fuck. Oh my god, you guys are super high alt. Oh my god. Ah. Sorry, I got scared because yeah, I fell. That's yeah, he's. <laughs> that's like the most Canadian them. yelp. Damn. All right, I got shots. Yeah, I got him. I'm going. Damn. I can't hit him. Too trash. Is he the one in the front? He's the one in the front. He's not the right you. The. Come on. Damn. I'm okay. I got a lock. No, it's me. It's me. Fire. Oh, it's him. Okay, I got you. It's the one that uh, They're way uh, too high for me. Bring him down. Bring him down. Yeah, I'm going uh, to circle back. I'm just trying to maintain distance. Who is this guy? I'm right okay. here on his tail. All right, I got him. I got a lock on. I got a lock on as well. Come on. Ah! Uh, he oh, killed me! God. He killed me! Damn him! He, he I don't even know. It was like a, it was like a magic missile. I love he's done. Come on, Whipper. Oh, you got this, brother. I'm bringing him low. Bring him low, Hal. You, you've got a chance. I got button rock and back off again. He must be stopped. I'm gonna get my jet. You must be stopped! Damn him! Ah! I'm getting run over by Hummer! Dang. <laughs> I can't do it! I just can't! I can't do it! I can't. <sighs> you got this, Risen. Believe in yourself. I literally have two shots left. Use, use the force, brother. Use the force. Oh, get the hell up. Get away from me, you stupid bots. I'm gonna have to take the L, guys. I'm gonna have to take the. L. Who's this? Okay, that's Mono. I ran out of rock, man. Oh, keep him up. Keep him up there. Hold on, I'm getting my jet. He 
Good idea, good idea. We need vengeance. Damn, that's it. I'm out of rounds. I'm a loser. I'm a... I'm a... I'm a freaking loser. Just like my dad always said. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna be behind him. Alright, good. I'm gonna leave this, uh... This radar on. He's gonna blow my jet. Oh, oh, no, don't launch. Crash. That's... that's. Oh, he <laughs> crashed? <laughs> what an idiot! Alright, let's resume the, uh... Let's resume the, uh... The interview. I'm... I'm too jacked yes. up. I'm too jacked up right You're now. You're the you hand. I'm jacked oh, yeah, to the tits. Yeah, that's trying to get in a jet. That's just trying to get in a jet. Oh. Damn it. That's me, that's jet. Ah. I'm guessing you don't want a back rub. All right, let me get some more ammo. I'm jacked to the tits. Leave it to me. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna sit down. Yes. Come chill. Oh damn, we got shot right in the chest. I'm right here. Wait, what? Damn them. Damn those gypsies. Um. <laughs> All right, we're back. We're back. We had a bit of a conundrum. Um, but we are back. And um, and we're just going to resume uh, as if nothing happened, right? What, what kind of other communities were you part of? Uh, the racing community and so obviously the MC community. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so I started off as a racer. Like That's actually how I met Bane and how I met all of those guys. As a racer? Like a, mm -hmm. like a driver? Okay, okay. Yeah. That's yeah, crazy. Exactly. What was your uh, main car? My main car was my uh, Just RR. Oh, sick. It's got a drift tune on that yeah. now. Did you hit that up? Yeah, definitely. Sick, yeah. Yeah, cars are, cars are awesome in this game. It's one of the main reasons that keeps me coming back and just buying a whole bunch of, you know, crazy stuff. Um, yeah, I love all the cool mods that you can do to them too. Sick, sick, yeah. What's your favorite uh, car out of all of them? Out of all of them, I'd probably say my Entity, or Ooh. yeah, my Jester. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, what other communities, like you're talking about the MCCom and this new uh, street gang you were talking about, who are they and what is a street gang? Um, particularly, and how does it differ from a, an MC? Yeah, so street gangs, um, some of them do follow 1%, so mm -hmm. they are very similar. Um, yeah, and I have a lot of friends that are in Mirror Park. Shout out Mirror Park. Shout out to Mirror Park, sick. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, uh, um, I'm not really too familiar with the whole street gang scene, mm -hmm. so. How does it work though? Like, what is the definition of a street gang? Uh, it's all about hierarchy, right? So okay. You got like your uh, your grunts at the bottom, and then like your uh, your hit is at the at the top of the list, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And like, obviously, there are similarities with these. Uh, I guess you can say there are. It's part of the RP com. Everybody that's in, you know, uh, motorcycle clubs, uh, street gangs, and uh, other things. Um, what what are the pros and cons of being in the RP community? Um, well, it just I think the cons would be like you get a lot of bullying, you know, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. sometimes people will take it personal. Like they'll they'll take like things that they learn about you in real life and then they'll put it on the game, right? And that's not cool. I don't really have a lot of respect for people who do that. Like unless they're coming at you, like making things personal too. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like you're treated equally amongst the community um, as a girl gamer, or um, do you feel singled out at times? A lot of the times I feel singled out, yeah. Just because um, it is very much a, a man's world, I guess, you know? Well, in this world, definitely in the uh, gaming mm -hmm. uh, world, for sure. Um, yeah. And uh, how often does this happen, like this feeling that you get of being... Uh, I guess you can say uh, judged uh, a certain should way. Should I um, should on I a second. stop him from opening me, or what should I do? Or should uh, I just stop him opening? You, you can do what you want, um, Mono. Orbit you, I'll orb him back. Don't worry. That's sick. Yeah, it's it's up to you, Mono. You can play it how you see. I can just spam more of them. All I gotta do is just keep on leaving and joining. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, Whiffer's on the case too. He's gonna be helping out of uh, through his uh, goodwill. 
Um, we'll get back to the question at hand, though. You know, it's it's hit and miss. He's got in the jet. He's got in the jet. Oh God. <laughs> Everyone's different. He's back yeah. in the jet. He's back in the jet. He's going okay. after him. Okay, cool. Thank you. Thank you, Whiffer. Um, th yeah. Th is it a common occurrence? Um, do you feel like people are often trying to get your attention randomly? And, uh, and, and, and <laughs> like, how, how often are you mistreated? I guess you can say. Uh, is it, I guess it's what I'm trying to say. Yeah, well, as you can tell just from the podcast, mm -hmm. uh, there are a lot of people, yeah, trying to get our attention right now. Um, and honestly, yeah, it happens quite a bit. Um, probably at least once every time I get on, you know, I'll have like somebody just like stalk me and try mm -hmm. to kill me. Mm -hmm. And you mm -hmm. talked about like your social media um, being exploited. Do you think that's a kind of like the sexist treatment that we're talking about? Or like, do guys go through that a lot too? Um, do you feel like you were targeted because of being a female or it's just like a common uh, occurrence to be doxxed? Yeah, I think um, just any community, or sorry, any MC that's getting big, I find that they're always under attack by other MCs who are jealous and whatnot, so they will be doxxed, like their players will get doxxed quite, quite often. Mm -hmm. And, um, and like, are there... What are what are the pros and cons of being a girl gamer amongst the GTA uh, com? Well, pros is that you know you're in a field where you know a lot of females would be intimidated, and the cons are exactly that. Like, you know, you're being looked at. Yeah, you're being looked at. You know, as somebody who you know spends a lot of time with um, males, so mm -hmm. that's obviously kind of not the best reputation to have but I yeah. mean as long as you know that you're cool and you're chill and your friends are you know the same then really there's nothing to worry about yeah exactly what I like to say is uh, the most important part about friendship is their consistent existence in your life yeah exactly yeah w would you ever consider starting your own MC um in the near future yeah I think so that's that's cool. Maybe we can go through that uh, simulation process uh, pretty soon with the... Oh, dude. No! He's alive. <laughs> He's alive. He's alive. He's good. Awesome. I'm going to go into um, um, ch accomplishments and challenges. Um, what's the hardest thing you've ever done in GTA? Uh, learning how to shoot in free aim. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> it's so difficult, like when you're first starting out. Yeah, I bet. Mm -hmm. What's your proudest moment? My proudest moment is definitely getting better, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just with, with every session, I find like I'm a little bit better than the, the time before. Yeah, and progressing. There's, there's so many... Um, different things um to get better at in gta and sometimes it's all at the same time whether you're driving or shooting or flying or whatever there could be a whole bunch of stuff that you do in a day that you know gradually um progresses your experience in different fields right yeah exactly um, to me the best players i've ever seen are usually the ones that cover uh, all bases you know land air i don't want to say sea because like what are you gonna fight with a kurtz or something but maybe a, like a submarine. <laughs> a submarine, uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And even then, not much fighting uh, going on like that. But, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Yeah. What, what's the most significant lesson um, that you can teach me? It could be about uh, anything. Oh, anything. Well, I think um, brotherhood above everything, you know? Okay. It's definitely, like, you got to have your your friends back especially in lobbies like this because you know you're gonna get rolled on mm -hmm. and if you're not there fighting with each other for each other then it's not gonna work out very well mm -hmm. I agree I agree so um, let's let's talk about GTA 6 for a second is let, let's start off with uh, you know Let's do the whole checklist here. Is everybody in this party getting GTA 6? Yes. 
What about I'm not gonna buy it straight away? You're not gonna buy it straight away? Okay, you're gonna wait it out. No. What about you? Um, what about you, Whiffer? Uh, maybe I don't know. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. If it's like, if it's expensive, probably not. Oh, okay, interesting. So you, um, they they said that it might be a bit more than the average game. I mean, they they did spend three billion on it though, approximately. So it is expensive to make. Um, so you're saying if they up the price of GTA 6, you won't get it with her? Yeah, maybe. I'll, if it's like over 100, yeah, right, I'm not getting that. Okay, that's crazy. Yeah. It might be, though. I think it might be. Yeah, yeah probably I think. Will. <laughs> well, it's such a big, big game, isn't it? I mean, they've put all this time into it. I mean, yeah. how long has it been since uh, the last GTA? 10, uh, 11 uh, years, I think, or 10 and a half yeah. years. But, but they had to yeah. restart GTA 6. So it's a, it's a big deal. So it's going to be yeah. um, going to be important. It's going to be big, and expensive. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. Um, yeah. What about uh, you, Viper? Are there any um, features or any improvements or enhancements that you're looking forward to in GTA 6? Something in particular? Yeah. So we touched a bit on this earlier. Um, mm -hmm. I would just really love to see the 5M aspects be integrated into GTA 6. Okay. Yeah. That's true, yeah, and um, and maybe like the, the club scene and stuff. Yes, yeah. definitely the club scene. I mean, they need more more outfits, you know. Yeah. Like some some cooler clothing for sure. Yeah. Speaking of fits. Don't worry about that orange dude. He's my friend. Oh, okay. Over here. It's all right. It's cool. It. It's cool. It's cool. Let's go through the fits two seconds, uh, guys. Even uh, Whiffer, now that you're here, you can uh, show us your fits first. Actually, no. Let's do Viper first. Guest of Honor. Let's see those fits. <laughs> Gator Den. Oh, nice. nice. I'll start with my cool one. Hold up, hold up. Let's do one at a time. Let's do one at a time. Go, Viper. Alright. So, did you want me to change my outfit? Or is this yeah, one? just go through all of them. Go through one, oh, okay. one at a time. Uh, okay. So, just let me... Okay. So this one is my trolling outfit. Crazy. <laughs> this one's obviously the nightclub outfit. Sick. Sick tat. Sick leg tat. Right. I got the scuba outfit because, you know, Classic. I like to go hang with the dolphins every once in a while. Nice. And then I got the biker fit. Classic. And then just like another variation. Yeah, yeah. That's I, I get that. That's sick. Yeah. And then this one's like the... The MC outfit, but I have the low beanie on because it eats bullets. What does it? Yep. That's yeah, so weird. One. I didn't know that. That's a that's a fun fact right there. I didn't know that. Damn. Yeah, this this fit was uh, what I used to wear in an old MC of mine. Sick. And then obviously we got the swimsuits. Nice. And then my hunting outfit. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that uh, post yeah. you guys did recently. Yeah. Yeah. Even the, even the, uh, I mean, not to bring up the bathing suit, but I remember, uh, I remember us, like, uh, you invited me to the yacht with all the boys and stuff, and I got pretty insecure about my, uh, my little yellow, uh, bathing suit that I've never, like, changed. I've never bought <laughs> another bathing suit. I literally have the, de the default. Let's welcome him. Let's welcome him with open arms. Is he? Oh, I would come up there, but I'm getting hunted by two people, so um, they're just gonna blow you, blow us up. So, yeah, it's fine, it's fine. Um, let's go through the outfits for. Um... Sorry, Whiffer. Very bad at names. Let me. Oh wow. Wow, that's crazy. Did he just parachute off the? Dude, he, ju he jumped. He oh. jumped. Oh, that was just pretty sick. Go back to your. Uh, go back to the other outfit. Uh, I gotta go fix it. Oh, it's true. The Yeti glitch, classic, dude. Yo, you have some well, pretty steez outfits, though, for real. Yeah. I recognize fighting. them. All right, cool. Now, a little, Look, little what? bit of RP. Yeah, that's sick. Sprinkle a little bit of RP in there. Nothing wrong with that. What about your uh, your guns, um, Viper? What's your main uh, your main gun? And watch what he pulled out. Um, my special carbine. Holy crap. I also love to use... Dual drum mag? Carbine. Classic. Yeah. 
That's sick with the silencer and everything. Yeah. That's thug. Yeah, those are my two main. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, let's uh, let's go to the bike then. Let's go to the rides. All Start right. with the rides. Yeah. I'm just gonna call a bike in. So just give me a sec. All right. Okay. I'm back. We got a full house and um. Let's see here. Look at my M's. MC Risen coming in. Boom. Let me take off my parachute. It's goofy. Alright, so Viper is gonna lead this uh, this ride. What's up, guys? Oh, sick. Alright. Let's do it. Who died? Sick. Oh my god, who is that? Was that a rando? <laughs> NPC, yeah. Oh my god. Sorry guys, I don't have my radar, so I might seem a, a little confused. Oh my god. <laughs> if I'm going too sake. fast, just let me know. <laughs> God damn NPCs, man. Shut them Why up. did I take off my, my map? Alright, catching up. Did you want us to stop? No, no, we're good. I would okay. fine. Hey, what's up, Tito? Do you want to invite? Cruise. Oh, okay. Oh! Uh, sorry. <laughs> I feel like putting on some ZZ Top. Take a right on uh, not this one, the next one. So it's important as a leader, always call out your turns or else, you know, that's kind of confusing. Yeah. Taking the route. And I think, I, I think the leader always has to go, f oh my bad. The leader always has to go first, I think. Either the president, or if we have a ride set up, it'll be the road captain. Mm -hmm. Road captain, it's his job to be in the front. It's, it's a big group. Okay, okay. It's, it's, the, it's his job to set the destination, and for a big ride, usually they're very front for events. No, That's sick. If you guys want, we can pull up right in front of this arcade here. Just right in this little this area right here. Oh, sorry, Risen. Oh, let me squeeze. <laughs> Need a, I need a smoke break. Yes. Damn, that's a sick bike. Damn, that's sick. Ooh. Damn, your session is cool. Damn. Yo, what happened to your arms, bro? Oh, okay, good. Sick. Sick. Obviously, helmets are not obligatory. I'm, I'm assuming. Do you need to wear a helmet when you ride? It's no. the the way they are doing it now. A lot of MCs wear helmets when they ride. Okay. Yeah. But you're not allowed to wear helmets. Yeah. 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 Back then, helmets were extremely forbidden. Wow. Hundred percent. Because if you get in the middle of combat, people can complain about that and say it was ninety nine. That's whack. Yeah, and yeah. We have people in the MC community where we call 99 clubs that will take advantage of everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. They'll take advantage of FAA, lag switching, booting, just to get a scorecard on you. Wow. Scorecard, B harches everywhere. Um, yeah, well, back in before it was scorecards in there was a rule that it was three SYGs, and if you lose all three of yours, you get pushed out of the server, and you have to leave. But now you get it's voted out or something. Who has, you no. Know, so what it is is, uh, do you know standard ground? Yeah. Just be careful. Watch this round. I'm not uh, sure if she's gonna if kill us or not. Starts up one, and another club comes and takes it. 
he, they can go back and forth between each other's SYGs. First one to lose three has to push out, which is basically leave the server because they got pushed out. Okay, wow, that's intense. Yeah, but yeah. now it's based off scorecards. Yeah. So they can care more about kills than SYGs because they'll go back and forth with SYGs back and forth. But with kills, there is no definitive winner. As long as you have more kills, that, that's your quote unquote winner. Mm -hmm. I, it never made sense to me. It still doesn't because it's dumb as hell. I get that. Um, guys, let's have a an impromptu uh, let's have a spontaneous like uh, bike contest everybody <laughs> okay everybody stand next to your favorite bike and you're not allowed to stand next to your your own you're, you're, okay. you have to think you have to stand <laughs> actually stand behind stand behind the bike that you like the most that's not yours okay. actually you know what let me get it let me let me judge let me judge mine's at the start oh this one's pretty sick this one's pretty sick oh, too Ooh. Riding. this this is nasty. Damn. These are close. No! <laughs> no! <laughs> no, dude! How? Whiffer, was it you? I guess not. Um, okay, I'm gonna stand next to this bike. Is it? Is anybody... Yeah, pay out that life insurance, bro. Um, You'll see us on the map for who's, just over by the um, yeah, I arcade. I'm on my way already. Oh. Who, who's, yeah. who's, who's got uh, two? Okay, so the blue skull bike, I don't know what the name is, has two votes. Does this blue white bike have two votes on it? I'm, I'm behind the one. My vote's on this one. Hi, tanks. The white one. The white one? Okay, cool. So basically, whoever has like two votes on the bike is uh, goes on to like the finals. Uh, um, Viper, are you behind the second one or the first one? The second one here. Damn. I like it. It's like an old school vibe. There's literally no other bikes that have um, two votes except for the Blue Skull. Looks like the Blue Skull. Blue Skull wins, guys. Who's who's Blue Let's Skull? Go. Damn. <laughs> nice. All right. Let's continue the ride uh, if possible, guys. For sure. Sick. Congrats on winning. You're cooler than uh, uh, everybody else. <laughs> I don't know where you guys want to go. Let's go to, uh, to. Let's let, let's just roll up on people. Let's let's do that. <laughs> That's not, probably not the best idea, but, but let's get okay, crazy. I'm wearing my old. Uh, I'm wearing my oh. old. Oh, where's Tito? Is he? Oh, okay. Right Pick him up. <laughs> Do you want to send him an NBC invite? Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna let that car through. Okay, let's 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 open it up. Toll, toll the car. We're gonna be turning around. All right, fine. Let's turn. All right. Watch out for this car. Oh my God! <gasps> yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Oh wait, you have way. to follow the rules of the lanes and stuff? Whoa, whoa, whoa. We we can't just cross uh, double yellow lines? <laughs> Alright, we're catching up. We're just heading up the main street right now. Yeah. This is I'm usually where that. a lot of stuff goes down. Alright. Yeah, Avengers! I'll, I'll assemble! Sorry. sorry. <laughs> Been watching too much Marvel. We're gonna take a left at these lights here. Nice. Oh, sorry. My bad, my and bad. right, right, right. Sorry. Yep, you're good. We're gonna go into the custom shop and post up. Nice, good idea. Yeah. Sorry. I'm Canadian, we apologize a lot. That's true. <laughs> a fact well known. Yes. It's that military guilt. Alright. Let's do this here. Oh. Is anybody. Who's this guy? Who's this? Who's. I don't know. Who's this? He don't, he's, he's, just, he's just chilling. He he's chilling. Yeah. Hopefully he is. Who the hell buys a.
convertible Camaro, let's be honest. Uh, I'm a, I don't know why I have it. I have I'm just not gonna get one. right behind you. I have not bought one. It, look, it, does. it doesn't look bad, but I'm not gonna. Uh, I guess. That's, I see, though. That spoiler is uh, atrocious. Yeah. When we do stuff like this, do y'all want me to show you how to park on like the big parking spots like this? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, you're talking about. Oh god! Oh, oh god! god. Oh, god. Oh, god. St stupid! Kill him. There we go. Oh uh, no! I killed one of the. What was his name? What was his name? It was T God. T T God. T. Yeah. Oh, I pulled out an E pump. Are you allowed to E? Are you allowed to use E rounds? He's definitely. He's definitely gonna come back. On the airs. ARs. Okay, my bad. No, no, I'm trying to get into it. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to be a, uh, a good role model. You know what I'm saying? Who's this? Okay, okay, okay. Everybody chill. Everybody chill. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling. He's chilling. Oh my god! Oh, no! Oh my god! Oh my god. Shot at him. Shot at him. That's why. Wow. Blew us up. My bike. No! Everybody's bike got blown up. Yo, this is getting dark. I, you, he was, he was just to do donuts. Yeah, I, I mean, Shit you wanted the MC experience. This is this is it. Yo, if you want if you want to do donuts, <laughs> don't come in with that spoiler. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> right, like his I'm car grab, was. I'm grabbing was self defense. Yo, we need to escape. But... It's getting too sp It's getting too oh, spicy, wow. guys. No. Sure. He got. He got back. He got his back. Uh -oh. Who is that? Oh god. He blew himself up like a dumbass. Excuse my leg. Uh, no. Uh, I just got killed. Oh no. I got him. I'm gonna call him all up. Who? <laughs> Who is that? I fired a random rocket at someone. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Fuck. Who's looking at right? Who's looking evil? Looks like the I mean, biker I life is. Oh, these the green people. The, the, the green people. Shop. The green gypsies. I'm turning on my 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 radar. I thought those were y'all in the middle, but I rolled up on some chill shit and they showed me up. You know what? They come over here me. <laughs> they run it. Bastards! Ah! Uh, uh, oh my god, they're all green? Who are these green? Nice. Oh no, we're all green. Oh no. <laughs> tried to hit me. Oh my god, a jet! It's a suicide bomber! Look out! Look out! Ugh! You fool! I feel butterfly. He's cool. Oh, I almost. It's just the um, the guy on the roof killing us. I am, well, I'm headed up there to him. Yo, should we oh. just? Uh, <laughs> I got rockets, man. Chaos. I think this. Uh, I think yeah, we might have to wrap things up. Yeah, Brad is going to. <laughs> Kind of yeah. Ow! Oh, that's you! <coughs> it's oh, me! Hey, sorry about that. Yeah. I don't know who the fuck is who is who at the moment. Alright, you know what? It's about to get real. I'm about to. Go <laughs> down. I'm about to dip in on the uh. You can't. Excuse my language. Might have to go Wayne Gretzky and go back to the 99 percenters. Oh, dog, you should hear how MC is talking fucking parties. We talk so oh, many yeah. different people, so many That's different names. Yeah. Bro, do you know how many times I have looked at someone and I said, You're my junior, eat my ass, kid. Dude, who the f. I'm, I'm literally gonna blow everyone up. <laughs> yeah, just just light him up. Butterfly, yeah, Butterfly please join the MC. Uh, yeah, yeah. That'll be a I'm good I hit you like eight times. I got a couple minutes to get my, uh, bar, so my, my oppressor. You want a taste? Come get a taste. <laughs> There's a tank. There's a tank. Uh, somebody hit that. Somebody hit that. Somebody hit that. It is I. It is I. We're good. Oh, yeah, we're good. Okay. You are okay. safe. Okay. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Why is this so damn fun? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's okay, my Who's the brown? Who's the brown? Who's brown? 
All right, good. Brown's the one that's been riding with us. He's Kill blue. Like blue. Kill blue. I'm yeah. killing blue. You blue bastard. <coughs> Roger, I'm clearing out the. I'm gonna go find the green people from the forest. Who's Mark Two? Is this? Who's the? Who's Turquoise Mark Two? Is this? Not mine. Not mine. Oh. Did I blow up? Uh. Cooper? Come on, man. I'm yes. I'm AFK. I know. How did you get up here? Stairs. Yeah, there's stairs. Trying to call my oppressor. <laughs> oh my god, is that. Who's Brown? Fight me, you fool! Turn around! Brown is on our team. Brown is on our team. Oh. Brown is on our team. Brown is on Sorry, oh, I Brown. wishful oh, thinking. What? Oh, really? He's shooting at me. No. Thank you. He has engaged me. I must. You're, you're gonna have to invite him. Never mind. He left. Okay. He's like y'all. Y'all have a lot of haters. Is he killing? Why is he shooting? Who is he shooting at? This oh. tank guy? Because I'd love to uh, yeah. I, I bend him know. over. I just started, I just I'm about to kill everyone. I think here, he's chilling. So. I think he was. Chilling. Is is he chilling? Oh, I killed him. Viper, Tito, oh, he got out. Because he could have he could have ran me over at any time. Yeah, he didn't. Random, he just parked just up. Starting to blow us up and shit. I'm having flashbacks to the wars. <laughs> <laughs> There's like Vietnam post memories and fucking this is how MCs actually had to deal with it. We would just kill and one just find the fucking random, 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 random. Yeah, and this is That's how damn I randoms. Key, I low key want to hunt down the uh, dark greens. I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't like what they did. Hey, kill that orange person. Kill that orange person. I'm going after him right now. 10-4. God damn, this is supposed to be an MC fucking I'm my themed yeah, I'm podcast. Going dark, I'm going after Dark Green. Really I'm going after Dark Green. Yeah. yeah. Back to Dark Green, alright. Uh, he's over, he's over there. They're over there. They're over there. Why? Dark Green is over there. Why? LS Carmine. Fuck out of here, Brad. No one likes you, Brad. Okay. We're going to uh, hit Dark Green. <clears throat> mm hmm. Yeah, me and, me and BC today is going after him right now. Nice. I see a custom shop. Alright, Avengers, mobilize. Wait, oh, they oh, drove all the way there? Damn. They're still inside. Still inside. Yeah, everyone's yeah. shut down, though. I know what I'm shut down. Ooh, uh, who's walking on to me? Hey, uh. Oh, okay. Tordor, Tordor! Ooh! Oh! Right there. How did I get one tapped? I'm gonna get a SIF card. Next one, open it up. What? I thought she was chill with us. How come she's shooting now? What are you talking I think about? Because Heisen shot her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Aww. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're right here, gang. Oh my god. Okay, oh. I give up. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to get the hind. Oh, Viper. Mm. Oh, Word, right. alright. It's time for the hind. Alright, it's time to get, uh. I don't even. It's time to get a shit. I can't They're get real. out of here. She's getting killed. You can't oh, I'm, you down. Down. I'm, get, I'm getting the hind. They have a missile lock there. I'll invite you down here because I'm not picking up. Never mind, we still hit it. <laughs> yes, please do. I'm not good at I'm not that good with the I'm try I'm yeah, gonna so try to lock jammer though. So just be warned. Yeah, just keep keep him on the I'm yeah. going in a hind that will Oh I was gonna go into the is Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Gonna yeah. Run they're running run run to the LS yeah. right now, they're into the LS. Yeah, I'm they go had, in and buy uh, one of their cars. Ooh. Yeah, let me I do blew this. myself <laughs> up when I get the mess. I'm gonna try to get out, get that Deluxo with uh, Mark II. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna have to run, run here, shafts. Red plane, red plane, kill the red plane, kill the dude in the red plane. Nice. Mm -hmm. Watch out, watch out, lady. Oh, lady and Viper, look let out. Me, uh, let me know y'all. Oh. No, no, I'm gonna go on a little walk. Take a little sleep walk around. Yes. Um, yeah, Should we? Deluxo down? I don't know who to Yeah, well, the. MC themed podcast kind of went to shit here, so we're gonna shut this down. I hope that I was able to give enough information um, about MCs and uh, a bunch of stuff relative to Viper's life. I think of that it went pretty well. We'll probably see you next time, guys. So thanks for tuning in. Take care. Peace. Damn. Ready?
All right, y'all. GTA, motherfucker! <laughs> ah! <laughs> I didn't even shoot. <laughs> Did I shoot? Oh my god, that was so cheesy. GTA, motherfucker! Ten points. <laughs> ah! Ah, turned over. Ah. Hell yeah! Help! Fuck the fuck the twelve house. Fuck the pack. Anyway, All right, nine, for the one percent. For the 1%! <laughs>